It's your girl Tika Tika back at you with another mukbang today. I thought it would be fun to do another seafood mukbang. I've got your non-traditional one. So I'm in love with sweet potatoes. So I thought it would be nice to just get like one jumbo sweet potato, put some butter in it because butter makes the world go round. And then I've got two lobster tails. I've got shrimp. I've got scallops. I don't know if you can see these little bad babies over here, but I've got scallops. I've got cod, buttered cod that I baked, which is, oh my God, delicious. And then I've got mussels cooked in butter. And I thought I would try something a little bit different in the mix today. I know that there's a YouTuber out there that does mukbangs and her name is Bee Loves Life. And so I decided to make her special, like, butter mix that she makes. I watched her video and I just kind of hooked myself up. So this is my first time trying this. Shout out to you, girl. This looks amazing and it smells amazing while I was cooking it and literally has so many different types of things inside there. So it's just meant to scoop your seafood and just kind of like eat it up. So yeah, let's get started. So I've been wanting to do another seafood mukbang for a while. By the way, also today I'm drinking it's a Starbucks double shot. Super good, one of my go-to drinks, just when I just have like no energy, I'm like, give me some Starbucks, hook this up for me. And then I just have water as well, just keep the, you know, to be able to wet the whistle, I guess you can say. So I'm so excited, I don't know where to start, but I think I'm gonna start with my sweet potato first. Oh my goodness, it's so good. Look at this yummy baby. Mmm. You know why I love sweet potato so much? It's not like so sweet like people might think when you hear sweet potato. They actually are just like a bit of a sweeter of a potato with a lot more velvety of a texture. And then for me, I don't really like to add sugars to mine like some people do. I just really like just plain butter because it adds that little bit of saltiness. So it's a little bit of sweet and salty and just like fantastic. I love it. Mmm. We got one more bite. This reminds me like the holidays. Mmm, it's so hot. Okay, these scallops are huge to me. Now, you might have had scallops at a different time than me that are bigger than this, but literally, legitly, this is the biggest scallops I've ever seen. So I bought it and I was like, let's do this. So I'm gonna try one bite without it and see what it tastes like and then I'm gonna try it with the sauce. Mmm. Scallops, again, are just... I feel like are just really kind of sweet and just taste really good. Sort of mix it around my little buttery sauce. Let's see what I get. Mmm. This sauce is literally so good. It's got a little bit of sweet. I did lots of spicy with mine and it's got all the herbs mixed in it. It just has such a deep taste to it, I love it. I'm gonna get another one in there. This muscle wants me to eat it. Look at this, just all the different spices in this. It just changes the color of it. Mmm. Girl, you came up with a good sauce, okay? If you ever watch this video, you came up with a good sauce. I don't know where to go next. We're gonna do some shrimpies. Mmm. Hold that thought. I'm gonna go get cocktail sauce. Okay, you guys. I am back. I cannot do a seafood mukbang and not have cocktail sauce. I'm sorry. I love it. It's so good. So here's this little piece of shrimp. So good. Mmm. So good. You know, I really wanted to add some crab to this, but I just couldn't find a fisherman that had traps in the water today. Mm. Try these little mussels. Mmm. Making myself like a little shell station over here. So I'm kind of wondering, what's your guys' opinions on mukbangs? 
you know I've been watching them for about the last year but to be honest with you like apparently they're super controversial I don't know so if you google mukbang it sounds like it's some sort of like fetish online I don't know some sort of fetish where like women eat online or men eat online and like people watch it to do other things but to be honest from my experience like what I think it is is I think that you you go online and you you eat and you have fun and you talk with the people that are watching you just to see how your day's going how their day is going and you know be able to relate to them in some points of their life um just to try out different foods and see different things as well and just let people know what you think about it you know I just I don't know I really like it I started watching mukbangs about a year ago I have some of my favorite mukbangers if you want to know put in the comment box below and I'll let you know but I don't feel like it's weird at all like I feel like it's easy and natural and fun right and so I don't know I've had a few people in town be like are you into some fetish stuff I mean like I'm super chill and stuff but like I didn't look at it that way I just look at it as like self-expression and just fun and just something different for me um I don't know so what is mukbangs to you what I mean how do you feel about it you know is there stuff that you wish people wouldn't do or maybe that they would do you know I'm quite curious so let me know so I'm gonna try this cod out it's just buttered cod. Mmm, so good. It's one of my friends. Her cod, she puts mayonnaise and then brown sugar and you bake it that way. And I really wanted that so bad, but I didn't have any brown sugar and I wasn't gonna just like slap mayonnaise on it. So that's for a different time, but I'm gonna make one of those probably in a future mukbang. Mmm. Scalps are just so good. So I've got these lobster tails here. You know, I always tell people I'm not like a super huge lobster fan, but I'm trying to learn how to love it. So I feel like if I do a few more mukbangs with lobster, I might like really start liking it. I just grew up with shrimp, so I mean it was easy. Or crawdaddies, I like crawdaddies too. Let me make these hard to get into. I want to make it, let you get the meat. Try a little bite of this. Mmm. You know, I think one of the worst things that people can do is overcook your seafood. To be honest, if it's fresh or thawed out, you literally cook it in half the time you think that you do. If you actually want it to taste really good. So where we're at, like literally when we get the prawns or the shrimp same, same day, we cook it up and we literally put it in boiling water for one minute and we take it out and it's done. You know, you don't have to boil shrimp until it's like super dried out and gross. I don't know what you want to do. I think I'm going to go straight for this. Just dip it in this. Mmm. So good. <clears throat> I made mine with a little bit of a kick. So good. Mmm. I love it. That just made me a lover of lobster right there. So how was your guys' day? Did you do anything fun or exciting or try something new, adventurous? What did you do today? You know, I always wanna know, cause I ask everybody when I see them, I'm like, how was your day? Either you get people that are like, F off, or you get people that are like, let me tell you about my day, cause I wanna hear about yours too. Mm. So good. Just 
just can't get over how good this sweet potato is and just how big it is and delicious. I love it because it's so colorful too. Mmm. It's like always brings me back to Christmas. I don't know which one I'm going for next. Let's crack open this bad boy. Muscles are really nice, but I just feel like you don't get enough meat in them. You know, for the price you pay for them, I just don't feel like you get enough. Even then, if I could, I would go out and pick them. I'm just always worried about like red tide. So you don't want to like obviously go out during red time. Red tide. Mmm. Move this little lobster to the side and get some of the shrimps. Mm. What's one thing that I don't have here that you would like to see in a uh, mukbang? So just let me know because I would love to try something different and new. Usually I like sausages added to it and potatoes as well. But I kind of want to like just more of a meaty one. Mmm, it's so good. So who's some of your favorite mukbangers right now? If you're watching my videos, you must be watching other ones. Who is your like top three favorite and why do you like them so much? Because there are so many different types of mukbangers out there. There are people that are literally videotaping themselves and on this thing this app where you can go on there and chat with other people too at the same time and they kind of do like both. There's people that just strictly do it in their cars or like people like me where you're just in your house and on your chill time you just are like, let's do a video. Um, who do you like and why do you like them? Because honestly, I've got a few that I like. I love B Loves Life. She's absolutely amazing and she's funny and you know what? Like, honestly, she's got a lot of personality, and she loves to cook, and she loves her family. She's amazing, so I love watching her videos. I don't think that there has been one in the last year that I have missed. I also love Nick Accato. He is literally just 100% just, like, who he is and real with you. And, I mean, if he's having a hard moment, he's crying. If he's happy, he's super happy. I love watching his videos, and... He's super colorful with his food too and he's always up for trying new things and he's the one that will eat the super bad food if you don't want to eat it and so he'll eat it for you. I also like um, Hungry Fat Chick. She is so sweet and just like so soft natured and you know to be honest you can tell her videos aren't like super edited and all crazy. She's just on there to eat and share her love for food with other people and just to be accepted. She's super chill and I like her and I like watching her videos and just the different types of food that she does. Mmm. Yeah, I don't know. Let's put some of this lemon on here. It's weird. I always have seafood and I always forget to... It's like I always, almost treat the lemon like it's a... Just like a topping for the top. I like squeezing out my food too. Mm. I don't know what seasoning it was because I just put them all on the counter and got to it with her while she was showing me how to make it on her video, but there's something in here that just really gives a deep flavor, and I'm guessing it's probably like cumin or something. So rich and so good. Mm. Yeah, look at this. I don't know if I'm going to do mussels in a mukbang again. Literally, you get like this little tiny piece of meat as opposed to like it being completely like filled up. I just feel like it's not worth it unless you're like a super huge muscle lover, which I am, just not for that amount of money for the amount of muscle that you actually get for it. Mmm. So I've been super busy, that's why I haven't uploaded very many videos. For me, my kids are my first priority. 
And so just making sure they can get to where they want to go and their sports and their, their stuff for school and, you know, just everything in life. They're first and foremost. And then my hobby, which is mukbangs. Hmm. I think I want to do like a vegan mukbang at some point or I'm just trying some some different vegan dishes because I like you know going vegan every once in a while too mmm what's like one seafood that you just can't get enough of because I literally feel like mine's every seafood I love crab though I'm not one of these king crabs or snow crab type of people I literally like Dungeness crab you cook it perfect tastes good it's fresh it's not like so huge but it's not like so small either it's just like a good mix between the two so I've been thinking like this last year a lot about travels and there's so many places that I wish I could just visit in like one go but when you have kids and a family like who can take that much time off of work or out of life just to go like travel right so you gotta plan it out especially my husband he's been wanting to go to the um to thailand for so long like just the food and the culture and just everything about the country just really appeals to him so that might be first stop on the next travels mm. Um, some of these little shrimpies. Mm. So I ordered off of um, Walmart.com or the Walmart.ca. I ordered like 20 different types of ramen, which I absolutely love ramen so much. Everybody that knows me. It's like, I feel like my perfume is ramen. You know what I mean? Because I love it that much. And I don't know. I just ordered all these different kinds for me and the kids to experiment with. But I'm thinking about doing some ramen mukbangs with some different style ones. I think it would be super good. Mm. I think I'd love a fish and chip one too. I'm like really hacking away at this sweet potato. Mm. What's your take on eating the skins of the potato? Cause like of the sweet potato, what's your take on it? Cause I'm somebody that actually does not mind the taste of it. I feel like it has a lot of good fiber in it. Some people want to be like, ew, the skins of the potato. But I'm like, mm. Tastes good to me, you know what I mean? Mmm. This butter stuff is so good. And I feel like it would be a good soup base as well, too. Mmm. There we go. I spilled on myself already. This is what happens when you're chowing down, guys. Literally, coffee is life for me. I wake up and I have like this Keurig thing. I make a cup of coffee in the morning. Then in my afternoon, I'm usually water. The evening, I'm some coffee again. Cause mom's gotta do a bunch of laundry, you know? She gotta stay up. Mm. I have one of my besties coming over for a mukbang this week. I think I'm gonna feed her desserts. Like, who doesn't want to be fed desserts? So I'm gonna feed her some desserts. Mmm. So good. Mmm. So good. Let's see if I can get a few more muscles in here.
Mm. I'm getting super stuffed. I can't even move around anymore. <sighs> super stuffed. All in about like 10 minutes, eh? Well, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions for me, please put it in the comment box below. You know, if you like my videos, please like and subscribe. There's going to be all sorts of different type of videos come summer. And I'm so excited to take you guys on my travel adventures with me that I have planned this summer. And just try like the different types of food. So, I hope you guys have the most amazing day or amazing night. Have fun. Just be you. Do you. And be happy. Because that's what life's all about. It's just being like happy, right? That's the way I figure. So, I hope you guys have just the best day, evening, whatever it may be. And... I will see you again for another mukbang. I really want some Mexican food at some point, so I'm gonna have to just cook me up something. Here, I'll see you later. Bye.